So over the last week or so, we have been busy getting ready for Casey's trip to Hawaii. So we've been spending some time together. We did go out hunting a little bit, didn't take the cameras with us. So this gives me a chance to make a new type of video. And what we're gonna do is just kind of go over our last week or so and what we've picked up, what we've collected in mine and Casey's collection, not the kids. I'm gonna eventually start letting the kids do their own section, but right now I'm just gonna go through mine. So let's get into what we've picked up for the collection over the last week or so. All right guys, so like I said, we have been out collecting, grabbing stuff randomly, and essentially spending way too much money on this pop-up session, which I'm sure you guys can all relate to. If you can relate to that, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you know when we make more videos. The way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna kinda just get into it and show you guys what we picked up and kinda tell you the story behind it as we were going and we were out because we didn't have the cameras with us for some of this stuff. And some of it was sent in mail time style, so we're gonna get into it. Basically the first thing I did is we went out pop hunting for Dominic's birthday. Dominic had some birthday cash he wanted to spend. You saw that video, and but you didn't see the next day, which was we went down to Oshkosh, Wisconsin, and we were just kinda of shopping around. We had to go down there for some random stuff for Casey's trip. We stopped at House of Heroes Comics in Oshkosh, which is a comic book store that has a lot of really good pops at random. So we're walking through, the kids are, you know, trying to find they, what they want with their money. They have a really awesome selection of pops. I mean, they have everything. WWE, they have NFL, they have DC, they have Marvel, they have Star Wars, they have pop culture, they have everything. So it's awesome. They get a lot of Disney. So while we were down there and at House of Heroes, I decided to pick up some stuff and I ran in and I saw this. I had to pick it up right away for the collection. It's Woody. I have the black and white Woody, the box launch exclusive. I did not ever have the original Woody. So I picked him up. He was like $12. I know he's not worth a lot, but I kind of needed him for the collection and it's, it's Woody. You can't go wrong when you buy Woody. So. He's in the collection now. He's gonna end up somewhere on the shelf uh, next to some of the Toy Story stuff, which we don't have out right now uh, because we have the Halloween section set up in the middle. But yeah, I got Woody. The next thing is we're still shopping around. We're still looking around. I'm seeing other things, looking around. And what do I stumble upon? And you guys should know that I would have picked this up right away without even hesitation, even though it's not worth, in, uh, no, I shouldn't say it's not worth anything. It's not worth much, but I have this weird collection and, and I had to pick it up and that is Marvin the Martian from the Duck Dodgers series. Had to pick him up. The, uh, you know, it's just something about this whole series that I just absolutely love. And he was also cheap. I think he was like $15 or $12 or something like that. So I picked up Marvin. Marvin is also, uh, also very, very cool. Got him. So that was our House of Heroes comics in Oshkosh pickup. That's pretty much all we picked up that day. Uh, I think so. Actually, we picked up the Harry Potter box as well that day, but I already did an unboxing in another video for that. So that's that day. The couple days later, I was randomly searching the internet and saw that there is a box launch exclusive coming out. And I happened to be really close to the mall and it happened to be really close to the time they opened. So I swung over there hoping that I'd get one and there was literally nobody there. And I, I don't know why ended up one other person came up uh, uh, right before they opened, but nobody came and I don't know why, because it's such a cool pop and it's such uh, a good cause I should say. So I'll let you know that I know almost nothing about Bob's Burgers. I've only watched maybe like three episodes ever. It's just not my type of animated comedy. However, the meaning behind this pop, I just had to do it. And that is the Louise Belcher box lunch exclusive Feeding America with the uh, ketchup and mustard bottles in her hand. Like I said, I don't know much about Bob's Burgers, but just the fact that uh, basically 100% of this 
goes to Feeding America. So basically every one they sell, they were donating 10 meals to Feeding America, which is awesome. It's uh, every purchase of the exclusive Funko Pop will secure 10 meals to people in need. Join Box Lunch in Feeding America and Funko to help the fight and hunger in your community. One in eight people in the U.S. face hunger. I mean, it's it's just awesome. It's really cool. I collect. I don't collect Bob's Burgers. Like I said, I don't know much about Bob's Burgers, but the meaning behind that, I I had to buy it, and it was, you know, to know that it's going to a good cause, and that's that's awesome. So, pick that one up. Now, the next one was actually yesterday. We were going to eat, and we stopped by the mall just to see what was there in Green Bay actually and lo and behold they had some new pops and it wasn't the same stuff like always it was some awesome awesome pops not rare common but they are new like I'm just excited and I don't have some of the other ones but I had to pick them up and that is the first one they buy three get one free so we bought I bought a set and Dominic bought a set the first one is SpongeBob's Christmas. Jolly, jolly, jolly. Santa's got his jolly little eye on me. I love these SpongeBob pops. They just look so awesome. They're so like animated. It's just he's he's so cute. And I there was no chance I was walking out without one when I saw him. He's just awesome. With that being said, you have to buy Patrick Star as well. So we got Patrick with the candy cane in his mouth, looking all jolly. And he is just as cool as SpongeBob. I love him. Super cute. Super animated. Super happy. Next month after Halloween is over, well, technically I should say November. When in November we will be swapping out our horror section for Christmas pops, and I am so happy to be able to add these into our Christmas pops. These these guys are awesome. They're so cool. So SpongeBob and Patrick, those were picked up, and those are awesome. All right, so the last one, I'm going to get this out of the way. So the last one was actually a mail call, mail time. Uh, this one was sent to us, and I had been talking to him, and I wanted to make sure that I got this. Uh, so this one's Kevin from Arlington, Texas, and he sent us a pop, um, and I was excited to get it because it's going to add to my Ad Icons collection, not that expensive but kind of harder to find and I was happy to get it and I'm just going to get into this unboxing I've already unboxed it he did send it in a pop protector if you know Kevin uh, if you see him I think he goes by another name on Facebook though but if you see the if you see this guy uh, definitely a good seller definitely a good mailer it, it came in bubble wrap plenty of bubble wrap and not the fun bubble wrap though so i can't pop it but it came in bubble wrap and a pop protector the the softer plastic ones not the the hard cases but we got dig em frog here and dig em frog is like just one of the cutest little guys ever so i want to open them up so you guys can see them without the pop case or pop protector reflecting too much now i'll bring this back in Dig him, frog. Super awesome. Love him. So happy to add him to my add, add icon section, which is right here. Which is, uh, who do I have? I have Noid, Captain Crunch, Bazooka Joe, Big Boy, Twinkie, Sugar Bear. And now I have Dig him, frog. I still need Lucky the Leprechaun, to Toucan Sam, Tony the Tiger. But we're getting closer on our add icon list, and I'm happy to add him. He turned out to be a, a good good one so thanks Kevin and uh, thanks for the awesome shipping speaking of shipping I still need to get some stuff out and in the mail some of you guys have won the contest and stuff it's just we've had a busy couple weeks and, and I'm slacking behind but all the mail is going to go out in the next few days I promise and you guys will have everything you, you've won and ordered and traded and all of that so this is what I've gotten this is this is some of the awesome stuff that I've picked up over the last few weeks it's awesome stuff. We're going to be back to normal. We're going to be dropping more videos. I've recorded like three already today. I hope you guys like them. Watch them. Comment. Subscribe. Hit the bell notification. The thumbs up if you like them. The thumbs down if you don't like them. That's okay too. 
and we'll see you in the next video guys later